Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Haley and I are getting ready to head out to Big Bear for the day. A nice little day trip with our friends. Got the essentials, Gatorade, water, hot hands, extra pans. We're ready. Split it open, therefore she has to drink it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, getting in some shots of Pink Whitney for a couple rounds. Might as well drink it some more. All right. It's cheaper than uh, drinks on the mountain, though. And stronger. Well, look, vlog footage now that I'm home. <laughs> it's at 6.16 in the afternoon, in the evening, not the afternoon. And there we go. We are back home now. I don't think I really got much footage at the mountain, quite honestly. It was really fun, though. We went with some friends and actually hit some jumps and boxes today. That was the first. not expect that but that was fun <sighs> changed into comfy clothes before we drove home but I am feeding Bentley right now I am gonna hop in the shower and quite honestly probably go to bed within the next hour because my body is just <laughs> so tired hello it's actually a few days later let me just tell you, the last few days felt like a whirlwind. I uh, I ended up getting pretty bad. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Um, I ended up getting pretty bad whiplash from snowboarding the other day. Oh, your water's empty. Let me fill that for you, Bubba. Okay. <laughs> like I was saying, I got pretty bad whiplash from snowboarding on Wednesday. Did we go Wednesday? No, I think we went Thursday. Um, when I was doing the jumps in the boxes, I fell a little hard a few times, but I got back up and I felt like I was fine. And then I woke up the next day and my neck was so stiff. I've never felt that much like pain and tension in my neck like since I got double whiplash in a car accident like years ago. Um, so that was not fun to deal with. I was literally in bed the entire day. Woke up this morning, still felt a little stiffness in my neck, so I just slept again the rest of the day. It's 5.40 now. I, uh, I have all the vibes going in here, and I am going to go ahead and make myself some dinner. I got a HelloFresh box that arrived a few days ago, so I'm going to make some HelloFresh for dinner and just have myself a cozy little night before I hopefully can do like a Sunday reset tomorrow. I do have to wake up tomorrow morning and edit a vlog because I want to get a vlog up for you guys tomorrow morning because I have one that I've already done. I don't know if I will sit and edit it tonight. Um, I think I might just like put that as a task for tomorrow morning for me to do before um, I go about my Sunday reset day. But let's go make some dinner. All right, so these are the three recipes they sent me this week. So we have one pan cheesy black bean tacos. We have chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli. That sounds really good. And then sweet chili beef and green bean bowls. The minute I saw this one come in, I think I had something like similar to this um, a few months ago in one, of the, in one of the boxes. And honestly, it was so good. So I think I'm just going to make this tonight for dinner. Pasta just sounds just so good right now. Okay. 
let's get to cooking. All right, I wanna kindly thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. I'm so excited to be working with them again. You guys know I absolutely love cooking their recipes. If you are really wanting to work on cooking this year and staying on track with recipes and stuff like that, HelloFresh is a great option. HelloFresh can help you stay on track with simple recipes and fresh pre-proportioned ingredients that help limit meal prep time and cut back on trips to the grocery store. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. Also help you eat more sustainably, all of their pre-proportioned ingredients mean there's less prep and less wasted food. This past week has been crazy busy as you guys know if you've been watching the previous vlogs so I haven't had much time to really go grocery shopping so I love that I have the option of HelloFresh to have meals just delivered straight to my door so I don't have to think about it and all of the ingredients the recipe cards everything's right there for me and it's so easy to follow and make dinner they also gave me a promo code for you guys you guys can go to hellofresh.com and use the code katherinej 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts again that is katherinej 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts i will go ahead and have all of that information on the screen for you guys as well as linked in the description box down below if you guys want to check out hellofresh all right Dinner is done. Let's do a quick little taste test before I go sit on the couch and just chill out for the rest of the night. Get down. Mm. So good. Literally every recipe that I make. So good. If you guys want to check out HelloFresh and make some meals like this one, I will have all of the links, coupon codes, everything that you guys need in the description box down below. All right, hello. It's a Sunday now, whoops. And we are having quite the productive day. I'd say more so Haley. She's getting a lot of shit done. And I have watered my plants. I've done the dishes. I got some work done. So you know what? I take that back. I have had a productive day so far. I'm making myself some leftovers right now. This is the HelloFresh meal from yesterday. It's almost one o'clock right now, and I got my little, what flavor is this? This is the pineapple spindrift. If you haven't tried this, I can only find it at Whole Foods, but it's really good. Making myself some lunch. I think we're gonna try to go to the gym soon. So I will take you guys along for that. Probably won't be too exciting because it's just a Sunday and we're just gonna do like a little bit of cardio and abs and then like really get started with our uh, split tomorrow since tomorrow's Monday. had this idea for my little perfume tray right here for quite some time I've seen people use like acrylic trays and stuff on TikTok, so I thought it would be a cute little display in here because I can't really see which one is which unless I move them all around so I found this cute little um, rounded tiered acrylic tray so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out and put all of my perfumes up there and see what it looks like literally fit perfectly <laughs> I put like my two go-to's that I wear pretty much every single day so we have the ambery saffron and the aquatic coconut I need to order more of this you guys can tell it's my absolute favorite I have my other empty one back here that I need to toss I think I'm going to order a few backups of this and I have a spot for like one more right there so if I order a backup I'll probably put it there and then wow honestly that looks so much better than it did before i love it now that this is all set up i just went online and ordered another one of these so i have a backup for when i run out because this is pretty much my everyday perfume that i wear um if you guys are curious what this smells like it is the exact same scent as the um baccarat rouge 540 that like everyone is obsessed with except that one is like four hundred dollars or something insane <laughs> and this one is only 50 on dossier so um, as you guys can tell, 
I love their <laughs> perfumes. So I will link this little tray for you guys if you guys want to purchase it as well. I think it was like 15 bucks or something from Amazon and I'm honestly really glad that it doesn't connect. So I don't have to worry about like knocking over my perfumes if I were to grab one from like back here. There's plenty of room for me to like lift it up without like knocking these ones over. Now that that is all done and organized. Oh, I have one other thing from Amazon that I want to show you guys. If you guys snowboard and you want to purchase some uh, snowboard clothing on Amazon, let me show you the bit that I got. So I really wanted something colorful because I only have um, a black pair of snowboard pants from Amazon and like a gray jacket. They only had the... Um, like tall version so I think this was like if you're like five eight to five something this is the 33 inch inseam that was like better um it still works for me I'm only five five but it's not like crazy long so it still works I mean it's a little long but um I got this in the small which is four to six it also has like stretchy straps up here which is really nice makes it way more comfortable and then this is what it looks like in the front it has two little zip pockets. <laughs> we have so much trash that we need to take out out there. Uh, yeah, I will link this if you guys want to purchase it as well. I liked the color, I thought it was really fun. So I'll probably honestly wear this next time we go snowboarding um, in Big Bear if it's warm enough. Also rearranged the kitchen a little bit since Haley rearranged her bedroom, which you guys will see on her channel. But we moved to the bar cart over here, and then she has the cat tree out here for Arlo. And then we just moved the water thing over. But yeah, that's what it's looking like over here. And then I cleaned up the office, so it looks a lot cleaner in here, ready to start my work day tomorrow. All right, so I think I have mentioned this before in the past that I've been trying to figure out a solution for the broken slats under my bed. And I was just looking at the soft, soft frame beds online and obviously those are crazy expensive. My bed is like kind of the same idea. So I'm thinking I might try to take off the legs that are right here and then see if I can figure out some sort of situation with the wood underneath and see if I can like put something else to support besides the legs down there because they are just they're broken and they don't even work at all so we're gonna see if this is even a possibility <laughs> who knows it might be a fail but we're gonna attempt to try It is 517. Just changed and got ready for gym. 
for the life of me, I could not decide what I wanted to wear. So we went with the safe bet, black. <laughs> These leggings are Colorful Koala from Amazon, my Metcons. This hoodie is from Garage, and then I have on my Set Active um, top underneath, and then this hat is from Amazon. It's a little fit for today. Also, the whole bed situation ended up working out perfectly. It's like just that much lower to where I'm gonna have to get used to how low it is, but I honestly kind of like how it looks. I feel like it looks like a whole new bed and basically like the bed that I was looking up online. So I think Bentley likes it too. Yeah, you happy with it? Okay, well, let's go get this Sunday workout. Back home from the gym, and we went to Trader Joe's and Target. So, I'll give you guys a quick little haul of what I picked up. Okay, so Trader Joe's, I think I have another bag somewhere. Blackberries, Power Crunch bars, Ginger Shots, Dark Chocolate Chips. This is new. It's Honey sauce with chili pepper. It's like a hot honey sauce. I make the HelloFresh hot honey chicken all the time. Um, so I feel like this would be really good. Sweet potato mochi, dried mangoes, peanut butter, 
And then I got brown sugar because I've been obsessed with brown sugar lattes in the morning. And I haven't actually had any brown sugar. I got this balsamic vinegar and rosemary chicken breast. I used to get these all the time. They're really easy if you just don't feel like making chicken. They're like pre-made. I got sirloin steak tips. I want to do like a lot of rice bowls and like veggies. So that'll be easy. And then brown rice. And then acai packets because I want to make some acai bowls in the morning. And then let's see what we have from Target. Okay. Cinnamon swirl bread. Honestly, probably would have gotten the one from Trader Joe's, but we hadn't decided to go to Trader Joe's yet by the time I grabbed this. And then chocolate covered pomegranates. I got these like pretzel nails to try since I haven't been getting my nails done. So these are by Olive and June. We'll see how they are. I also found one of the clear mugs that I feel like everyone is obsessed with. This was literally the last one that I could find. It was like randomly on a shelf. And then another shower loofah, tampons, essential, more press on nails, but these are by Kiss, I think. The color looked really nice. So I'll let you guys know eventually how those turn out. And then more body wash. This is, I love the Method body wash, but I haven't tried this one. It's the Cedar and Cypress. It smelled really good. Unsweetened black tea. Fiji deodorant from uh, Old Spice, and then trying some Bonza mac and cheese. I haven't tried their mac and cheese yet, but these look pretty good. And then hand soap for the kitchen, which I'm gonna put over here because we literally have none right now. Okay, that is all for my little haul for you guys.